Hello everyone. I'm just getting ready to say as schools get ready to come on back, so I hope y'all have a great summer. This is Joshua Deere sign signing in. Um getting ready to face into the part two, so here is the title for this one. For Monday is only. Alright, here will I go. Mia's Mia first day on her first, first day, day of school. school. Ground it. Ground it. Wow, today is a beautiful day. I think I will hang out with Antonio. Good morning, Mia. Good morning, Mum. Today is a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hey, can I go out with Antonio today? Unfortunately, it's your first day of school, not today, Mia. Oh yeah, that's right. But don't worry, you will be able to go back in person again. So get yourself ready, then come downstairs and eat breakfast. I'm pretty nervous, Mum. We all get nervous on the first day of school, Mia, but the second day will be better tomorrow. And you know the best thing, you don't even have to wear a mask anymore if you're vaccinated. That's helpful. Have a good day, Mia. Let me know how it was this afternoon. I will. Hey, Mia. Antonio, you're in my home room class too? Looks like we are. That is so awesome. So if there's any school work that seems hard, you or I could help each other on it. Exactly. Well, 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 if it isn't Mia the troublemaker. Rachel, leave her alone. Oh, don't worry. I'll leave her alone. But if I ever catch her doing something wrong, I am going to report her to the principal. Oh, don't get your hopes up in doing that. I am going to behave throughout the entire school year. We'll see about that. Good morning, students. Welcome back to school. I hope you all had an amazing summer vacation. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mr. Butler. Oh, have you been a butler before? No, that's just my last name, but I am from the United Kingdom, so that's kind of the same. Another thing, I have not yet been vaccinated, so that's why I'm wearing a mask. So anyways, we are all going to take turns and say what each of you did over the summer. You can say your name if you want to. Raise your hand if you want to go first. Oh, 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 I want to go. Please, pick me. Excuse me? What's your name? Mia. Well, Mia, you didn't raise your hand. You can be the last one to explain. Let's start with you, young man. Hi, my name is Antonio, and some things I did over the summer was that I went skateboarding, I climbed some rocks, and even got to go out with Mia. Huh. My name is Toby, and this summer, I played some baseball with friends. I went to summer camp and played video games. I'm Rebecca, and this summer, I got to hang out with Rachel. We went to the mall a lot, and even went to the drive-in. I'm Rachel, and I think Rebecca has already explained my summer a lot. I'm Tanya, and I didn't really do much this summer. I just been lazy at home. All right, Mia, now you may go. I'm Mia, and this summer, so many things happened. I went to the drive-in with Antonio, I helped my family mow the lawn, and I also got my wisdom teeth removed. Okay, Mia. Well, it's good to meet all of you. I can tell we are going to have an amazing school year. 
Now that we have all introduced ourselves and explained our summer, we are now going to do some math. Just to recharge your brains, we'll take turns again. Antonio, what's three times three? Easy. The answer is nine. Correct. Come on. We're seniors. Give us harder ones. Mia, what is 12 times 12? Um, 153. Wrong, Mia. The answer is 144. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. That's okay. You can just practice more of it at home. Looks like it's lunch time. You all have a nice lunch. Hey, Mia. Hey, Antonio. Enjoying your first day so far? Well, you know, it's a little hard on first days, but I'll be used to it soon. Of course. Ugh. Seeing Antonio sitting at the same table with Mia makes me want to throw up. Rachel, I think you are way too jealous. If you really love him so much, let him be with Mia. After lunch. Hope you guys had a great lunch. Now it's time for me to explain your homework. You are going to write a paragraph of what you want to do for the rest of the school year. It is due tomorrow. What? We get homework on the first day? Yes, Mia, but homework makes you smarter and makes your brain grow. I am not doing the homework. Okay, Mia, then you get an F. I am very tired of all the things you've been doing all day to me. First, you didn't raise your hand when we were explaining our summer. Second, you got a math problem wrong. And third, talking back to your teacher, I've had enough. Go to the principal's office. I am calling your parents. I told you, Antonio, she's a bad influence. Rachel, for the last time, shut up. You are not my parents. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Butler. Mia is my girlfriend. I believe you want to put her in a different class. No, it's okay. I will keep her in here. I'll just keep trying my best here to teach her. Wait a minute. You're not Principal David. No, I'm not. David has been removed from the school premises. I am the Vice Principal, Alice. I am taking over for Principal soon. Oh yes, that's right. So anyways, what brings you here? I got in trouble. I didn't raise my hand. I got a math problem wrong, and I talked back to the teacher. You know you're not supposed to behave like that. We have zero tolerance for the behavior. You can go back to class, but I am going to call your parents. Well, my teacher is already doing that, but okay. At the school. Mia oh, great. is in trouble. Looks like you with guys her found friends. out. Yes, Mia, we did. The vice principal and your teacher said you are disrupting your first day of class today. You forgot to raise your hand. You got a math problem wrong, and you talked back to the teacher. I know. I shouldn't have done that. But the teacher has assigned us homework on the first day to write a paragraph of what we want to do for the rest of the school year, which isn't fair, and it's due tomorrow. So you yelled at the teacher. How dare you? You're grounded. Grounded? For how long? For the rest of the month. That means no TV, no video games, no dating. You are not to hang out with Antonio at all, except for at school. Go to your room. What? Uh, 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 uh. Chris, did, do you think we're going too hard on her? I think we are. We did apologize to her for it after she tried to run away. But she needs to behave in school. I really don't want her to get expelled. I know. None of us do. Lesson. If your schools are boring, you can still do to learn. But that is wraps up for today. Hit that subscribe button and the notification. Thanks for watching.